Hey guys, this is Xavier. I'm here with one of the families participating in the MidStories.com project, and they're going to play with a mid. They've got the Villa of S5 for the summer. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Let's start with you, Emma. Um, I'm almost 15. Um, I go to School of the Arts in San Francisco, and um, I'm a dancer. So you, at School of the Arts, what do you do? I study theater design, so that's like costuming and light. So you're pretty artistic. You do a lot of artsy things. Okay. And what about you, William? Um, I'm almost 13. I go to James Lake Middle School in uh, San Francisco. And I act and I sing. And so I'm pretty artistic, too. And you do a lot of... You, you're a professional actor, right? Yeah, I was in some place. <laughs> And, and you like gear. sports online, right? I, uh, I like sports. I like playing baseball. And I like, mm, yeah. A lot of different things. Yeah. And I'm Sandra. I'm the mom, and I'm not going to say how old I am. And I work full time, and um, I'm really interested in in this. It's, it's the, the technology is um, is very exciting. I don't don't really understand all of it, but I think that the kids are going to show me a lot more about how to use it because they seem to have the knack for it. Um, and I'm sure they'll show me a lot of new things on it. So you've had it open for about, what, 20 minutes or so? Something like that. And what, what are your first impressions of it, William? Um, I was really surprised. I thought it would be kind of junky because it was really small. <laughs> but it's really, really cool. It's just like a computer. It's just like a regular computer. It's just as fast. You can read it just as clear. It's really cool. We are going to England to visit my mother this summer. And, um, you know, this will be so much more convenient than having to get on her really old, horrible computer or, you know, she's obviously got some work to do on her computer. So this will be great that we'll have access to another computer without having to bring a laptop. And also when we're um, away from there, when we're up in London or um, in other places in the country, we won't have to go search out an Internet cafe. We'll have this right there. What am I going to do? I'm going to be able to check the Giants see how they're doing because there's nothing in the newspaper about it there so I can actually be able to ha know how they're doing and see like get updates on it and also I'll be able to like, update my music get new music like over there charge your iPod charge my um well I, I... Checking email has always been a challenge. <laughs> That's why I got the BlackBerry. Um, but, you know, obviously this screen is for Facebook or for checking your email or what have you. This is um, much better. The screen is so much easier to see. And the functionality, uh, I mean, I just, I, like William said, I, I can't believe. I mean, it's, it's amazing that <laughs> they can make a computer this small. Um, well, I like how you can charge it in a car and. I like the case a lot. <laughs> um, I think, um, yeah, I like the case a lot, actually. It's quite stylish. Um, and you can put it on your dashboard and use it as a GPS, so that's good. What websites do you typically go to, or what do you use? Um, I check my email, um, Facebook. <laughs> um, that's shopping. You like to look yeah. at things in the shops. <laughs> um, Urban Outfitters. <laughs> yeah. uh, I like to... Pandora. I like to go to um, sports sites a lot. I go to sports sites. I also go to YouTube. What about you, Mom? What do you... Uh... <laughs> um, I'll, I'll probably... I've not ever had an iPod before, so I'll probably get more familiar with iTunes and use this for music and also um, you know I think the GPS system if it works in Europe that will be really helpful um, we've never we've never used a GPS we're a pretty non techie family actually Jeez. compared to a lot of our friends but um, you know this will certainly open up some new doors for us <laughs>